guys so I just want to give you an update this is the third day Bella's been here as you can see she's very very chilled out <laughs> so this is what she's mostly been doing um, she really enjoys sort of snoozing in the day like most most bunnies um, I've changed her area a bit so she's got more room to run around um, still litter training but she is getting better she's pretty much using the tray now so that's good um, so she'll just be here for a few more days, I think, and then I'll move her downstairs with Billy. And they'll be in separate pens just to get used to looking at each other. But I just thought I'd get her into this space and just like have some time to adjust to her new home and just chill out, which is what she's doing. She's really happy. <laughs> I've seen a few binkies and, you know, she does a lot of flopping, so she's really happy. She's playing with her toys a lot and she absolutely adores her chill and chew mat which is a you know different to billy because he's not a chewer at all but she does chew a few things so yeah and she's eating lots of vegetables eating her hay eating some of her pellets she's not mad on pellets but that's fine but yeah she's doing really well so i'm happy with how she's settling in but yeah just thought i'd update you for day three hello bunny lovers so today is day four so Bella is now downstairs in the kitchen area. Um, as you can see, the pen, she will be let out to have a run around. But this is just her space at the moment for her to get used to again. So as you can see, I've layered the fencing. So Billy won't be able to bite through the fencing if he gets a bit nippy. Um, they have met, so he's seen her. And he has been pushing his nose through, trying to sniff each other which is really cute. Um, he is a bit territorial. This is obviously his space, so they won't do a face-to-face, -face, you know, where they can physically touch each other. That will be in a neutral space, but it's important that at this stage, they just get to see each other. So this is the next step of the bonding stage. So I've been obviously swapping um, items from each of their spaces so they get used to the smell, but now this is where they can physically see each other, but not physically touch. So... We'll see how it goes. I might do a bit of filming later when Billy's sniffing around again. Um, this morning I didn't want to film it because I wanted to just be on my guard just in case he sort of got to her in any way. I know he, it's quite impossible with all this layering, but you never know. So I had the little water spray bottle just in case and things like that. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is day four. Um, I'll see how it goes. Just watching Billy eyeballing Bella. I just thought I'd give Bella a bit of space just for a few hours just to settle in. So Billy, he normally sleeps upstairs in his hutch at this time anyway. So I just shut his door just so he's not constantly harassing her. So that'll open again in a few hours. It's just to give her a bit of space. <laughs> As you can see. Look at that face. Is that a grumpy face? <laughs> Don't know whether this is a good sign or not, but um, Billy's lying on her blanket. So, which smells of her and everything. Hello bunny lovers, so it's now day five. I've opened up the X-Pen area so she can have a run around. She's not that keen though. She needs to like just be in her little space. So obviously protected Billy in here for now so they can take turns. Just having a bit of hay at the moment. But I'm hoping she comes out in a minute. Um, it's already been five minutes but um, I can't tempt her out with treats or anything at the moment. So <laughs> it's just a waiting game. Trying to tempt her with treats. It's just not working. <laughs> She's going back into her box. <laughs> Don't think she really trusts me that much yet, so. She's chewing her box now. She's got to take it slow. She'll come out soon. She's coming out a bit now.
to Penna. <laughs> Hi guys, so I think we're on about day six now. So I thought I'd put food next to the X pen so they can sort of eat together really. It's kind of like a bonding thing. Um Billy is less aggressive at the moment, so that was a good sign. Um he is doing the Territorial markings around those still. <laughs> but it seems to be um seems to be going quite well, so obviously got quite a few more days of just being able to see each other. No meeting yet, but I think it's good that they can just see each other. Both been out today roaming. Bella was out this morning. She was really enjoying that and she enjoyed some banana as well, which was nice. Do you think, Billy? What do you think? <laughs> Doing really well considering. Ellie's doing a lot of ignoring at the moment, which is like a neutral sign, so all good. Hi guys, I think it's about day seven now, so <laughs> look at you do. So Billy's not being as sort of aggressive as it were, he's sitting near the fence, Bella's sitting near her fence, so that's another positive change that I've noticed today. Billy always seems to want to be quite close to her, which is really sweet. Um, still doing a few drop-ins and things, but, you know, he still classes this as his territory. So what I might do tomorrow is start swapping them around a bit. So Bella uh, stays out in Billy's area and Billy goes into Bella's area and still have free roaming time which I interchange so they both get enough run around time and that's what I'm thinking of doing tomorrow yes what I think you do tomorrow Billy Boo Boo yeah Billy Boo Boos but I think Billy's doing really well considering this is like a huge change for him really you know another bunny's come into his life and he doesn't know her at all and he's starting to get to know her and it is a long process the bonding process is like super long so like I say we're on day seven so it's a few more days of them looking at each other before they even get to meet yet so uh, just thought I'd keep you posted Bella's just flopped over oh look at her little face she's so happy she's eating so well and she's playing with her toys all the time doing little binkies you know, really happy with how she's settled in so far. And she's eating lots of different haze, basically spoiling her. And she hasn't got digestive issues like Billy has, so she can have things like bits of banana, carrot, you know, in tiny quantities. But Billy can't even do that because he gets so poorly. And she can eat lots of vegetables that Billy can't. So, you know, it's, it's different having a rabbit that doesn't have health issues. It's like, oh don't have to think too much about what I'm giving her <laughs> she's fine with everything so yeah so cute but yeah I'll keep you updated hi guys so it's day eight so just showing 
Bella having her free time. Obviously lots of play things out. She loves those um, chill and chew mats. So she's got three of those at the moment. There's one in her area which she loves to sit on. But it's also got little hop-alongs, blankets, rugs. Um, some toys out. I also put some banana out. She's had a nibble of that. She seemed quite keen to come out this morning. You know, she was really chewing at her box. So I thought, well, now's the time to just give her some free time. But she's not that keen on coming out at the moment. <laughs> I've obviously put the necessary safeguards on Billy so that he can't nip if he feels the need to. <laughs> but she needs to be a bit better. So each day is just getting slowly, slowly better. It's a very slow process, this bonding. So I'm just reading the bunnies and seeing what they need. So let's just see if Bella. Are you going to come out, Bella? Me? Are you going to come out? Oh, you snuggle buns, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah. You love your cuddles, don't you? You love your strokes. Don't you? Yeah? How are your sticks today? She loves chewing her sticks. <laughs> I got two of the fibre sticks, but she's uh, not touched those this morning. Still eating, drinking, pooping, the usual. So still doing really well. Yeah, aren't you beautiful? You're beautiful. Her markings are just so lovely, aren't they? Lovely, lovely markings on her. Yeah, she's a real beauty. Yeah, and you always hold still for the camera, which is more than Billy does. Because Billy won't let me take a photo. Yeah, he won't let me take a photo. You're very photogenic, aren't you? Yeah. So, yeah, so we've done a full, full week now of having Bella home. So it's been nice to sort of record how the bonding process is going. How it's not usually that straightforward, as you can tell. It's been quite hard work so far, but, you know, I kind of expected it. Like, Billy is obviously very affectionate of things and obviously wants companionship, but he is also territorial, so he claims all this for his own, and it's kind of just a big change for him, so I'm just taking it at their pace. Seeing how they, uh... oh, she's eating her stick now. <laughs> you chewing your stick? Yeah, she really likes those. I think she just gets kind of overwhelmed when her pen gets open. She just seems a bit overwhelmed by it, but I'm going to go upstairs and just leave her to it because it's obviously safe too of how Billy is at the moment. He, um... They can't nip each other, so not that they have yet. Haven't given them the chance to. <laughs> but yeah, so that's been my week. I hope you've enjoyed watching how every day, like the progress of Bella and how she's been settling in. She seems to be doing really well, so I'll just continue that for next week because they should start to have some of their like neutral space bonding i might start that next week i'm just gonna see how it goes so yeah so thanks for watching guys bye